Thank you and welcome to this webinar on AIQ Systems Trading Expert Pro. My name is Steve Hill. I am President and CEO of AIQ Systems. A bit of background history on AIQ. AIQ has been the world leader in intelligent trading software since 1987. Our software platform is a technical analysis tool that is used by both individual traders and investors and also institutional traders and investors and money managers throughout the world. AIQ was founded by Dr. Smith, a pioneer in artificial intelligence. He created the platform originally for his own trading, uh, having been unsatisfied with the platforms that were currently available in the marketplace. His experience and knowledge skill in artificial intelligence was applied directly to the expert rating system that is part of this trading platform. AIQ's expert ratings have been in place for the last 30 years. The artificial intelligence system uses a series of widely available technical indicators and their interpretations in a series of decision trees that allow it to analyze the price action on stocks and on the market to determine when turning points may be occurring. During this presentation, we'll also have a look at some of those expert ratings and how they work. What you see on your screen right now is in the center there, what we call the main menu. AIQ is actually a collection of different applications, including our main charting area that you can see in the background, our data management and downloading data tools, because this platform downloads end of day and intraday snapshot data into your hard drive. So you can always do analysis offline. The system also includes high level portfolio management tools that allow you to apply not only trading system stops, but indicator stops to your existing positions. It has over 200 built in trading reports and also includes a tool that allows you to do correlation analysis between the baskets of tickers. For the advanced trader, there's a system design tool that allows you to create just about any trading system you would, and also includes over 200 built-in trading systems for you to look at. And finally, there is also real-time or delayed data tools in here, including uh, quotes montages and real-time alerting, where you can actually apply trading system alerts onto real-time tick data. First off, as you can imagine, charting is an important central point within the platform itself. The charting platform allows you to put multiple charts up on the screen. You can look at them over different periods of time, daily, weekly, or monthly. And of course, you can zoom in and zoom out to see chart details close up. Drawing tools like Fibonacci retracements, regression lines, draw your own trend lines are also included in the package and you can annotate charts and draw lines as you see fit. This chart here, for example, has the Fibonacci retracements on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. On the right here, I've put up a chart. Uh, it's a daily chart, actually, of an overlay of the S&P 500 index with the uh, CBOE volatility index. This is always a great chart to look at because when the volatility is going up very strongly, the market tends to be going down. As you can see, there's a mirror correlation between these two tickers. The charting package is very easy to use. It comes out of the box like this. All of the indicators are on the right hand side. So you can actually apply an indicator onto the chart just by clicking on it. The indicators down here are applied below the chart. Now you can save this layout so that all your charts come up with the same indicators. And it's easy to change the settings on any of these indicators by double clicking on the indicator themselves. And you can see in here, this one defaults to the standard for a stochastic of 21 days. One of the reasons we store data on the local drive for the daily and for intraday snapshot charts is the ability to explore through charts very, very quickly. AIQ manages everything through lists. In this box up here, I have a large number of different lists available. 
But just to give you an idea of how fast this can work, I can collect just the Dow 30 stocks. And you notice my third chart here has got Apple from the Dow 30. If I hit enter on their keyboard here, you can see the stocks that are in the Dow 30, but watch what happens if I scroll down how quickly I can change charts in here. Much faster than I could if this was all streaming data and it was having to bring in every single ticker across the internet. AIQ is also known for top-end group sector rotation tools. So let me show you the S&P 500 groups and sectors. I'm going to shut this chart down and this one too. It just happened that Nike was the stock that we were looking at a moment ago in the Dow 30. Notice here that Nike is part of a group, which when I click on it, is the Apparel, Accessory and Luxury Goods group. So you can see here, there are a large number of different groups available. I'm able to explore up and down and left and right through the groups and sectors that make up the S&P 500. So for example, if I want to see what sector this group is in, I just click this arrow and I'm in the, and I'm in the consumer discretionary sector. So if I go back down to the apparel, accessory and luxury goods, I can see the other groups that are in this sector by clicking sideways. There's apparel retail, automobile manufacturers, auto parts and equipment, and so on and so forth. Here's casino and gaming. If I click the down arrow here, I can go and see the stocks that are in the casino and gaming group. Remember, this is the S&P 500 stocks. Staying within the gaming stocks here within the S&P 500, let's have a quick look at the expert rating system. If you look down the bottom here, there's a button that says ER. Every time I click this ER button, it takes me back to a particular point where there was a large number of indicators suggesting a change in direction. So for example, when we see a high level here, ER up, expert rating up, on 127.20, that's a sign that the stock may be about to turn up. I can click the expert rules button to see just what indicators were firing. And these are the primary indicators that fire to create that expert rating. So in here, you've got the analysis of the rate of change of the exponentially smoothed average price suggests the completion of a downtrend. The rate of change is bottoming out and shows signs of increasing. In this market, this is a bullish indication that a reversal may occur soon. As you can see, there are other indicators and other price-related events in here that contribute to this high rating. Every stock and every market that we have within the system has these types of ratings. So if I click this button here, it'll take me to the next high up or down rating. In this case, it's a 95 down. So prices moved up over six days through to February the 7th. And then there was a rating to the downside that was quite significant. Again, looking at the expert rules. In this case, let's have a look at the third one here. The equity price has crossed and closed below the long-term 4% exponentially smoothed average price. This indicates a continuation of the current price movement and is considered a bearish signal which is sometimes followed by a downward movement in the price of the equity. You can find these higher ratings up or down by using these buttons at the bottom of the chart. We also have a reporting area that we'll move to a little bit later where you can actually see these stocks in a report every day so you don't have to come in here and manually look at them. Over here we have something called market charts. It brings up four different market areas. We're going to have a look at the Dow Jones only. On the Dow Jones, when I click back to the indicator panel here, I get expert ratings on the market itself, and I also get indicators based upon the breadth of the market. So for example, down here, I have Dow Jones Industrial Average. Here, there's the advanced decline line which is the number of advances and decliners off the New York Stock Exchange. 
I also have the advanced decline indicator, which is another indicator of advances versus decliners. And again, based on the New York Stock Exchange. I also have the high-low indicator, the number of stocks on the New York Stock Exchange making new highs versus making new lows. This analysis of the breadth of the New York Stock Exchange used in comparison with the Dow Jones 30 price action allows the expert system to give us an idea of when the market's going to change direction. Let's go back to the main menu and we're going to have a look at our built-in reports. Within the reports itself, we have reports on stocks, groups, and sectors, mutual funds, if you're trading mutual funds, uh, we also do it on a weekly and a daily basis. Right now, we're on a summary report that gives us a report every day on the status of the market. So for example, this is from March the 20th, 2020. It shows me the last high rating to the upside on the market, which was a 95, and how many days ago that was. It also gives me some metrics on the internals of the stocks within the market and also some metrics on the internals of the groups and sectors. This information is generated every day and this is the starting point for your daily analysis. You notice here also this is information on the technical indicators on the Dow Jones Industrial Average itself. It gives us a bearish and bullish look on the market itself. Earlier I'd mentioned that the stock reports would allow us to get information when there's high expert ratings. And this is the expert analysis report here. It shows me in the upside rating, here's the high upside ratings that happened on this particular day when I generated this, which was the 7th of April. So you can see high expert rating stocks are listed here. It shows me the current price and price change and some information about the group that the stock belongs to and how it is trending. So we get some inside analysis of what's going on. Other reports include new highs and new lows. How many stocks are making new highs versus new lows? In this case, as you can see, a lot of stocks are still making new lows. This report, by the way, is based upon whatever stocks I decide to analyze it on. In this case, we've analyzed all of the stocks within the S&P 500. Other reports include relative strength, strong and weak. Buying into a trend is always a good way of investing. Uh, volatility analysis, stocks that are showing accumulation and distribution or persistence of money flowing into it. Uh, things like volume spike, a uh, pointed figure breakout. There's a large number of different reports that are generated every single night in here that you can check out for trading ideas. If I wanted to see some of these stocks uh, in charts to go and have a look at them in more detail, I click on this button here called build report list and I can call this I'm going to call this new high 47 and it'll take those stocks that have made new highs and I'll throw it into charts for me to analyze there's the stocks that we just looked at in the reports and these are stocks that are making new highs on 47 stuff like stocks like Walmart and Vertex Pharmaceutical, Citrix Systems, and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, all making new highs. I mentioned earlier we can get uh, intraday snapshot on these uh, stocks. I can do it for my whole database, or I can just pick this list that I just created, which I called uh, New High 47. I can find that in here. And there's an intraday snapshot updates is already selected, including today's uh, trading data. It's uh, delayed data. It's now added to the bars. So this is actually being done on April the 8th. So this is the intraday snapshot on these stocks. 4820. Just switch the view here to candlesticks. You can also do uh, just a close only if that's the type of chart you like to look at. 
and we'll go back to regular high, low, close. I can switch to any of the lists. I can create lists of stocks throughout the system wherever I happen to be working. So for example, if I wanted to look at my list of Bitcoin here, it has only two stocks left in there that are actually in that list. The other two have ceased trading. And as you can see here, dated through 4.7, I could have updated those to get an intraday snapshot on those two Bitcoin stocks. Back into the uh, download of data in here, just to give you an idea of how we download data and what we do within the system, you can set it up to automatically download your end of day data every single night. Whatever data it is that you uh, want to download into the system, for me I have about 8,000 tickers that I update every single night. I have it automatically update my groups and sectors and generate those reports that we looked at. And also I can have it uh, do some processing of some specialized strategies if I put them in here. So if I have some trading strategies I want to run every night, those can be run as well. We have two different data services. Dial data is our end of day and intraday snapshot one. Interactive data is used in conjunction with our e-signal service uh, that gets us delayed data in real time into our higher end area. So as I mentioned in there, the Expert Design Studio, this button here, which is another application within our suite. Within the Expert Design Studio, you have the ability to create a new rule and use our builder to actually put the blocks together. Good place to start is the pre-built routines. These are some standard indicator interpretations that you can uh, copy and glue together to make your own strategy. The wizard will help you through building a strategy. The package comes with a built-in selection of strategies for you to look at. So for example, I can go into EDS strategies here. And within here, you'll find a large number of built-in strategies. Some basic technical indicator strategies will be a good place to start from. So for example, strategies using multiple indicators. Here's one volume and volatility filter or volume or volume spike and price change. This is a strategy that uh, looks for 25% volume spikes and also looks for uh, a price change as well. All of these can be run automatically every night when you download your data or you can do them manually within here. So I can run this particular rule on any date that I want to. Uh, once I've run the rule, so for example, we'll just pick a date to run this in uh, 2019. And as it's going through the stocks, you can see that the stocks that meet the criteria appear here. I'm just going to stop this just so you can see what that is. So, so on 5-31-2019, ABT had a Bollinger Bands was squeezing together with low volatility. So if I take this and I chart all the tickers in here, we'll call it squeeze. And click OK, it'll jump those within my charting area. There's the list called squeeze. I've got the Bollinger Bands on there. As you can see, they're getting to squeeze together, having been further apart, and the volatility is low. Any strategy that you build within here, or any strategy that's already in here, you can go ahead and do a back test. So I can actually back test this particular strategy as a buy long or short, depending which type of strategy it is. Test it back 24 months or over whatever period of time I like. I have uh, the ability to stress how I enter and also how I exit or trade it. And I can actually test the strategy to see how good it is. Once you test the strategy, you'll see it running through the tickers down here at the bottom. So while that's running, have a quick look at the Portfolio Manager next. Portfolio Manager allows us to track trades and it also allows us to run simulations. Uh, so we can actually test the strategy um, 
with assignment of stocks based upon capitalization. It's a very powerful tool. So here's a portfolio manager for you where you can actually track positions, stop loss transactions, and also close positions. Uh, it gives us information like asset allocation, performance analysis, and risk analysis that we can perform upon the portfolios themselves. So we're just testing the Dow 30 stocks over a two-year period to see how good this Bollinger's Band squeeze strategy is. So as you can see here, at 136 trades, 115 winners, 21 losers. Uh, maximum profit and loss, the average drawdown, average profit and loss versus the average profit and loss on the SPX. And you get a re reward risk ratio. And we ran this from 4618 to 4820. And here you can see a list of the positions that the uh, back testing bought and then sold based upon the Bollinger Band squeeze and the low volatility as the entry point. And we are exiting based upon a capital protection and a profit protection 80% above 5%. There are a variety of different exit strategies you can use. So back into the main menu here, the charting areas, which is the market and the charts, the data manager where we can add tickers, our communications for downloading data, including intraday snapshot, portfolio manager, reports, matchmaker is the last part of our very first package. Matchmaker allows us to do correlation analysis, strategies between subsets or baskets of tickers. If I want to see how one ticker correlates versus another, so for example, I could have a look at the ticker Dow Jones Industrial Average. So for example, I want to correlate that against, uh, say, the ETF for the spider, and we'll do it through the last year. It'll show me that uh, at 797, uh, correlations above 800 or so are, are very highly correlated. So it's almost correlating quite high, but not that high. So let's do a correlation between two tickers that we know move very closely together. So if I do the Standard & Poor's 500 index versus the ETF, the SPY, when I click OK, 995. The two are highly correlated, not surprising. That's what the SPIDER is intended to do against the SPX. Let's look at something that's uh, an inverse. For example, we'll do the SPX versus the VIX. Notice the negative correlation there, very high negative correlation. When the S&P 500 is going up, the VIX tends to be going down and vice versa. It's a very useful tool if you found a stock that you like to trade or you want to find out baskets of stocks that move together in unison or you want to find contrarian plays, then this particular tool allows us to find those. So these applications here, the charts, the market charts, the data manager where we just manage data and you can add tickers that are not in the database, communications for downloading, portfolio management, managing positions for exiting with strategies or for doing simulated portfolios, our reports that are run every night and the matchmaker for correlation and the expert design studio and the messages. Messages come from uh, downloads in case there's any action you need to take. All of this is our end of day with intraday snapshot platform. Uh, data comes from dial data. The 30 day trial period of the program, you have full access to all of the features that I just demonstrated. The data itself in the system is updated within the last 30 days. If you wish to get current data into the system, you'll need to sign up with one of our data plans. And there's more information on that below. Take your time to check out all of the power features within the software. And if at any time you need some help, just email support at aiqsystems.com. Thank you for your time and we look forward to having you join us.